I'm not playing Starfield. I'm not playing a f Bethesda. Are you f guys? The last thing they made was Fallout 76. I'm not playing fucking Starfield. Are you fucking kidding me? Did you guys see that leak? The one where it was literally just Skyrim again? The fucking guard came up. Did you see that leak? The guard came up and it was lit. Uh, what are you doing here? And then you can respond with two options. One of which being, I'm so sorry. And the other being, I am evil. Mohaha. And then he responded, I'm evil. Mohaha. And the guard is like, ah, uh, so you're going to go hard, are you? Psh. It's the same game. It's the same game. Have they even updated the engine? It's the same game. Bethesda is a trash studio, okay? And the only reason you all fell for it is because you liked the broken mess, like a million miles wide, one inch deep fucking nonsense model of, of, of Oblivion and of Skyrim. And, and people, people fell for it and you all fell for it. And the only good game in this entire fucking runoff was the one not made by Bethesda, just using their engine. And the worst part of New Vegas was its engine. A lot of New Vegas was held back by the fact that Bethesda is shit at coding. And if you don't want me to do, 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 do shit at coding, look at 76. 76 was like a nightmare. And I know it wasn't by the same team. Yeah, but they headed it. They promoted it. They talked about it to their people. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. Bethesda's a slop factory. No, I haven't played Morrowind, but it also came out 20 years ago. So, so I don't think its quality is indicative of the performance of Bethesda, the studio today. Bosh with the stupidly hyperbolic video game. Dude, if you think it's stupidly hyperbolic to say that Bethesda is a slop factory, then you're a, you're a pig and you're, you're eating the shit that they're shitting directly into your open mouth. How many times does this have to happen? You know what came out before 76? Fallout 4. Fallout 4 fucking sucked. Yes, it did. I have watched so many videos breaking it down. I've seen the cutscenes. I've seen the dialogue choices. Everything about it's dog shit. They cut it all down and made the shooting better. Wow, they made the shooting better than fucking Fallout 3. What? Wow, incredible. Jesus. And, and everything was dog shit. The story didn't make sense. The writing was terrible. There's no meaningful decision making. Everything was bad. And Fallout 3 was bad too. Yeah, Fallout 3 was bad too. And Skyrim was bad. Yeah, Skyrim's really dumb. The only thing you guys remember about Skyrim is breaking the broken ass game, the primal fucking Pavlovian obsession with entering cave, crouch archer sniping. You remember the effects of 50 trillion mods that you have tried to install and then failed to because they weren't compatible with each other and the game wouldn't work. I bet, how many times have you guys made it beyond Whiterun recently? Oh, Skyrim was great. I'm gonna boot it up again. Installs mod pack, uninstalls mod when the game crash. Tweaks, tweaks, tweaks. Multiple days later, you start the game. You do your thing. You get the white run. Wow, that was fun. Okay, time to call it a day. And then you never play again. And then when you play again in four years, you're like, well, I should start from the beginning, obviously. Because like, what if I make different choices? Oh, time to start again. Blah, 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 blah. Get to white run. Oh, that was a good day. Blah, blah, blah. See, it's they're not good games. I'm sorry. They're, they're games that are phenomenal at hooking people with the promise of go anywhere, do anything, when in reality, it's not. You might as well just go play like a slop, like shovelware Unity engine game where you can walk on a gigantic map the size of Antarctica and encounter like random spawning skeletons that you can clip through or whatever. It's nothing. It's garbage. It's dog shit. It's dog shit. It's dog shit. It's dog shit. And what's that one guy's name? What's the one guy's name? What's the, the Todd Howard? Todd Howard hates you. He would kill your mother if he could. He hates you. He lied every step of the way up to the release of 76 and continued to lie covering for the studio the entire time after. After every embarrassment, he never demonstrated a single fucking bit of, of, of conciliatory, of, of, of apology. Everything had to be squeezed out of the company. And they lied about the apologies too. Why would I play? Why would I play Starfield? And yet everyone's like, "Oh, I can't wait to play Starfield." Why? Uh, the world's really big. Go, fucking games with infinite maps. I play Minecraft. It's really big. Who cares? You all fell for this with fucking No Man's Sky. You fell for this, dude. It's big world, big as universe. Make planet. Wow, you can make planet. You fell for this before. Yeah, you know what else is really big? Outside. Go. 16 times the detail. Didn't they fix No Man's Sky? They didn't fix No Man's Sky by improving the initial premise. They fixed it by, like, adding a bunch of the shit they initially, like, lied about or misrepresented. Like, 
nobody being listen okay being able to go anywhere and do anything means nothing you can do that in real life go outside and die to a car great what freedom isekai yourself into another world where all the girls are 12 year old elf children who are all your sister or whatever the fuck is topping the seasonal charts this fucking season okay okay fucking the the idea that game listen games are about having objectives and completing them. Frankly, that's all of life too. But games specifically, you're like, no, I like to make my own fun. Yeah, that's because the game gives you a framework with which to have that fun. Gary's Mod, perfect example. Does, Gary Mod, does Gary's Mod have objectives? No, but you set goals for yourself. The quality of those goals, the excitement that people feel, I think, is in large part a product of how interesting the tools that you can use to achieve those goals are. Gary's Mod gives you no objectives, but it also gives you the ability to make a lot of really funny shit. And people can make gameplay modes that do have objectives. Minecraft is another perfect example. There are some goals in Minecraft. There are achievements, and there's the end dragon, and blah blah, but for the most part, they're self-created. Now, the question is, how good of a job did No Man's Sky do with giving people goals? Well, apart from reaching the center of the universe, which everyone knew was a time waster from the get-go, you go to a planet, you walk around, there's some procedurally generated dog shit, you mine your shit with the... And then you go to your ship and you do it again. There's essentially nothing interesting at all that was presented in the original version of the game. I don't know much about how it is now, so I can't speak to it. But in its original version, what we quickly found was that go anywhere and do anything actually is really fucking boring. Uh, it's good to have like mechanics to engage with or systems to engage with. But if you guys really just want to play like a sim where you can play as a character in a big universe and do lots of stuff, you guys know for an absolute fact that like Starfield or whatever it's called is just going to be Skyrim, right? Like at some point you may do a big epic quest line to free the galaxy of some big corporation or do a thing or lead a revolution, but you know there's going to be like a couple of factions, and if you become the head of a faction, you get like, I don't know, a title or a bunch of money, or maybe you get access to like a special ability where you call in support troopers or whatever. But apart from that, you could finish the entire game, do all that crap, and you're still just one guy running around with your gun. You're going to go into fucking caves and shoot people and get the loot or whatever. Like, it's not really an RPG, you know? In a real RPG, there would be meaningful changes to the gameplay based on the decisions that you've made, but we know what, we know what this is going to be. We know what this is going to be.